not too young. Hundred miles per hour, my smash, but the shit die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long drive, I'm on my own. I'm a big bitch, I'm a What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are getting ready for the Need for Drifts event in NOLA, and we might do some street sliding after. So we got the M3 fixing to go up on the right. We have a FDF kit, uh, one of my new sponsors picked that up this season, and I'm super excited. But we've got the Manus kit going on the front, and then we got a new lightweight flywheel with a replaceable face going on the flywheel and getting rid of that unbalanced one. Uh, we got something going on over here with the RX-8. This is not the Drift RX-8, but we're doing some testing. It's a good bit. Uh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. So what he's doing, he got some knuckles modified today. And we're seeing how much angle we can get out of the stock uh, knuckles and stock suspension. And then we're gonna have to do some kind of camber plates up top, right? How are we gonna do the camber? Do you know yet? With the... We're gonna leave it like it is for now. For now. Oh, no, you have to replace the lower controller. Okay, so yeah, we have to do the controller. the wheel hits the controller in the back. It doesn't hit anything in front. Um, we already we gotta have get rid of the sway bar, the stock sway bar. So we Yeah. So it wouldn't hit anything in the front. <laughs> but yeah, so this is exciting. We got a RX-8 build coming up. Uh, we've already started on it. It's at the house. I just haven't got any footage of it yet. Uh, all we've done is gutted the interior. Then I pulled the dash, got all the AC stuff out the way. And it's ready for some 3D scanning and a 8-point pro spec cage. And once we get the cage in there, it's going to be pretty straightforward. It's going to be an LS build with a twin turbo setup, pushing like seven pounds. So it's going to be sweet. Can't wait. Uh, ready to drive it, but it's also going to be a lot of work. But that's going to be exciting too, because I'll bring more content to y'all. What other goodies you got in here? Oh, that's the hub, as you just saw. It's beautiful. I see. Fresh. What up, guys? What up, guys? What a beautiful engine here. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. A little black. Yeah. Be all right. Fresh as fuck filter. <laughs> somebody, somebody, buy me a filter. Ooh, what is this? What you got there? Don't scratch the paint, bro. Deep. No. They they uh they packaged it to make it so this thing ain't gonna get scratched. Look at that control arm. Look how pretty. Wow. It does look better than the uh, SLR. Just with all these gussets in it. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey Tyler, could you spread some of this paper out, please? You know, gotta keep it clean till I put it in the dirt. <laughs> 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 then, uh, then I won't care. Oh yeah. So we got another hub. Some like tie rod adapters. No, that's not. I should these are for. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Sure got a purple. Nah, I don't know. What if I change my color scheme, though? I didn't want to overdo it. Hey, what are these? Uh, those are... Um this is either for your ball joint or your control arms. Gotcha. I would think. 
I mean, oh, I know what they are. This goes to the subframe for the control arms. Gotcha, yeah. That's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah they need to be long. Oh, that's some tie rods. Tie rods. T rods. Oh, yeah. Bro, you know how weird this is for me? <laughs> Why are you recording? <laughs> it is weird though, huh? You're touching my car, bro. All right, hey. <laughs> Be easy. Be careful. I with know her. the M3 can't handle what like, what like. She. It can handle it all. She's actually. tough. She's tough. She smacked the wall and she's still going straight. <laughs> Fair point. All right, so we got the hub coming off, all the brakes, and we're gonna probably pull the sway bar out the way, get these control arms changed, the hub, and it would pretty be pretty much there. We already got our caster plates, I mean, our camber plates we're gonna be using. Let's see how well this fits on a mob. Let's see. Got my clean drift motion flywheel. As clean as it's ever gonna be. These are 17s? Yep. They're not gonna fit. Just fit past them calipers. You gonna see how much bigger they are? <laughs> yeah. It touches the rotor and the caliper on both sides. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, second, uh, top, bottom. All right, I gotta put the camera down. So we're fixing to pull the control arm off and the hub off in one piece. So we just gotta get these three bolts and then all that's out the way. That goes back there. Everything's going pretty smoothly. This is the smoothest part. <laughs> Besides the subframe, the stud for the control arm, and it seized to the subframe. We okay, got Victor awesome. over here getting the hub, uh, hub disconnected from the coilover. Oh, yeah. Then that side's off. He's getting the air hammer. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> God damn. You knew it was coming down. Just wasn't giving up. I hate to be that guy, but that's why I wear steel toes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I don't think he's got one. I think it's missing. Ah. I think it got chopped off. It's You're good. Right? Yeah, it's good. It ain't give me that bad. It kind of hurt. Blue edge? We're putting Bluetooth tires on here, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's what I said. What else needs to come off? They almost got the transmission out. Adjust the pitch of it a little bit. That's all the pitch. Hold up. I think I might not have gotten the starter bolt all the way out. Yeah, I, I did have all 12. Oh, I was talking about the bell housing bolt, not a washer. I'm coming, Nick. All right, so they almost got the transmission out. We're gonna throw the flywheel in, throw that back in. We got one hub done. Me and Nick's fixing to bust this hub out and finish up the angle kit. So, Josiah, what we got going on here, sir? I just gave fluid. her some tranny fluid. Yeah. Then tranny. they're saying I need to adjust my toes. So I'm gonna have to adjust my toe. They want it in or out? Out. We got it in. Gotcha. I don't know, because I wasn't ever sure we were doing it right anyway. <laughs> yeah. The toe part, at least. Right. The camera and casters are good? Yeah. 
cool. That's dumb, huh? They get the toe knocked out. So I was running real late last night, got all the fenders cut out for the FDF kit because it wasn't clearing at all. And then uh, as soon as we get that done, I think I'm fixing to go test this one, but they need to be out there because they want to see how it goes. So once we get this toe done, we're going to go test the RX-8, see how it does with just modified knuckles and stock alignment and everything, and we're going to try it out. Something bound up on my front. When we spun around, something grabbed for a second. It felt like it bonded up for a second. Did you test the bump screw last night? No. Can we test that real quick? Is that what it felt like? No, cause I don't think I don't think it's going far enough for that. I either had a tear in my eye or a piece of sweat when you when you came by. <laughs> Couldn't tell. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So the testing of the FDF kit overall, it went pretty well. Definitely having some binding issues, but I think it's a mix of a few different things. I've never ran the car without a front sway bar, and currently it's off because the factory sway bar links just weren't going to cut it with the FDF kit. So I have some Heim joint sway bar links coming from FDF, and then we're going to be able to throw the sway bar back on. And then I guess being that the sway bar is off, it's really showing me how my front coilovers are performing. And something's definitely wrong with this front right one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both of the coilovers off and service them, rebuild them. Uh, whatever needs to be fixed, it's getting fixed. And then once those two things are done, the coilovers are rebuilt and the sway bar is back on, then we can go and start messing with the angle kit when it's under load. Cause like right now, it's not even close to the control arm. But under a load, as you can tell, because this is fresh, it's definitely rubbing. It got my wheels good on both sides. So, like I said, once the coilovers and the sway bar is good, then we can go ahead and start messing with the bump stop and setting it up for the final setting, or for a good setting to where we won't have any binding issues. But other than that, the car is doing great. Um, Got the new fenders uh, here, so we're about to throw those on in the next video probably. Got to get a new sub fender, the, the factory fender for this one because it got all messed up when I soldered it uh, like two years ago. But yeah, other than that, it's doing good. I'm loving it. It's definitely came a long way since I bought the car. The belt's not getting thrown anymore because we're just running alternator and dampener. Uh, mini tub the fender wheels last weekend just to get the FDF to turn all the way. So I need to go ahead and finish tub uh, doing that, getting rid of the upper fender wheels. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get somebody to kind of help me weld a plate and then weld some uh, tube, make a tube front end. Probably get rid of this factory uh, core support factory upper nose is what they call it on this car yep but as of right now our next event is clutch kickers round two I'm already signed up I got a bunch of stuff to get done before then mainly just uh, looks wise gotta get this kit dialed in and then I gotta get my new tow rig ready to get a uh, pool is very close you just got a slight oil leak and then the turbo actuator is messing up or either the turbo itself because the it's got an actuator that operates the exhaust brake and stuff well that's not working and it's got a code for it but it shouldn't be too hard that 250 is going to the shop and getting sold it's probably the last time y'all go see this thing but you know i don't want miss it it's later <laughs> I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next time. We got, a, like I said, we got a few things going on, so I'm gonna be posting some videos still. And y'all have a good week. I appreciate it. Take it easy.